Hello, everybody. This is Joseph Norman. Welcome to our seventh lesson for the digital music making class on pure data. Today, we're going to work on building a delay effect, a multi-channel delay effect. So, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to want to do is create what's called an ADC, an analog to digital converter. This will take signal from uh, whatever microphone we're using, and we'll be able to output it and then manipulate it in various ways. After this, let's go ahead and create a Dell Wright tilde, and let's name this one Guitar L, and we'll just define a certain amount of uh, basically the length of tape. Uh, so let's just say 8,000, which would be 8 seconds. Let's Command D to duplicate that, and we're going to call this one here Guitar R. All right, and then let's output our ADC. Make that ADC1. And I'll put that to both the left and the right. Okay, after that, let's go ahead and create a new object that's our variable delay, VD tilde, and we'll define that as guitar L. And then let's make various copies of that. Okay, and then let's command D there. And we'll just change each one of these to guitar R. Now then, the next thing that we want to do is uh, first create a line tilde. I'm going to say 0 0.5. So there's a preset value there. OK. Do that. Command D, place all of those here, and then let's go ahead and create a pack and 1000 and 1000. And let's it Command D, Command D, Command D, like so. And we'll go ahead and we'll wire all of those together. All right. And so what this will allow us to do, uh, on the left inlet of the pack, we're going to be able to define the amount of delay that happens between the signal first occurring and then the output. And then we can also change the amount of delay on each one of these. So the right number here, this right inlet, will allow us to change that over a certain amount of time so it doesn't occur quickly and doesn't cause any pops. Now, if we're changing the amount of uh, the length of the delay at any given point, uh, while there's signal happening, we will have a slight uh, pitch shifting effect uh, that's more or less uh, dramatic depending on the length of time it takes. So right now, that length of time for it to change is one second, but we could make it faster and you'd get quicker blips up and down, or the slower it is, you have more like slow glissandi occurring. Okay, here, let's go ahead and move these. And then we'll create some number boxes. Right there. And these. Good. Good. And then do this here. Okay, and we will attach that there, like so. Okay, and we will attach here. Cool. Here we go. All right. And then let's go ahead and create a signal multiplier. And we'll say this one is 0. Point, let's make it just a nice 25 here. OK. And then let's run all of these here. And we will 
we'll run all of these here. Okay. And then let's go ahead and create our deck. Was it deck two? No. There we go. Attach that. We have the left. And then over here we have the right. Okay, and let's imagine that we want to create a recording. So we're going to create a right SF tilde two object. And then we're going to create a message open guitar test dot wave and then we'll create another message start and another message stop okay and let's move these off to the side here attach stop like so and then we'll attach our left outlet from the single multiplier here and this one here. And then let's create another single multiplier 0 0.25. And let's attach the ADC to that. And then let's send that both to the left and to the right outlets. Okay. And then we're going to want to save this. Uh, let's call this lesson seven delay okay all right next I'm just going to give a uh, little bit of a demonstration of what this will sound like while I'm playing guitar Thank <laughs> you. 